I see a lot of great things for Baltimore. I love what's going on in Port Covington. As long as you're doing the right thing as a developer, they're you know there to you know just support you and help you in any way that they can. And so for that reason, I'm I'm just really excited about the opportunity. I have seen a lot of positive endeavors, positive projects that's evolving from you know Baltimore City, creating job and opportunity for residents as well as people from outside of Baltimore. The way that I demonstrate industry leadership is I'm really active in boards and trades in the industry. So I have a kind of network outside of just our area that I can call on and ask for advice. And so that's how we kind of stay ahead of everything is by kind of being out there and exposed. I really try to focus internally, getting out there across the country with our teams and making real connections with our people. And uh, I like to demonstrate that personally and professionally. Continuous improvement in our company, obviously we do the continuing education classes, we do the safety classes, but our employees are encouraged to interact with each other and learn from each other. And so our people in the forefront of the, of the field, or in the field, actually have to know how to flash, how to tape, how to build a home to make it a lifetime home. We hire people that have an innate curiosity um, an innate desire to learn and improve themselves. So we simply foster that, those existing characteristics by collaborating all the time. They know that I'm a person that's not always going to be behind a desk. I like to be out there partnering with them, whether it's constructing something or figuring out a detail on the blueprints. The properties and the values of the land itself are going to become more and more important throughout the city and Federal Hill area and Canton area. Uh, 20 years ago, you could buy houses there for next to nothing. A lot of the new growth down in the Inner Harbor, uh, that's going to lead to just more economic gain in Baltimore. And I believe, given what we are able to do in our residential as well as commercial side. I'd also like to mention Sparrows Point. I think there's a lot of opportunity down in that particular part. That southeast corner of Baltimore County could be a real hotbed moving forward. And that happens to be where our company is located. I can see neighborhoods being rebuilt, old buildings being restored to their original grandeur, and I really love old buildings and I get really excited about that. And I'd love to be able to play a part in restoring those old buildings. A, we have a great governor, Larry Hogan, who is pro-business and likes to see business thrive. We also have the Port Covington Project, which is coming up, slated for 13 million square feet of restaurants, offices, and residential. We believe in safety, we believe in quality control. Both of them side by side, and value engineering have created immense uh, understanding of our industry. I think what I find in our industry as a weakness is many times they make a compromise on talent. We still bring the best people, but through innovation and technologies and efficiencies, we bring costs down and save it in other areas. We talk about what are the best practices. We review problems and issues on other projects, and we feel that's very important for moving forward as a company and sort of training ourselves as we sort of move through uh, the culture of our company. We had one employee who uh, took off a month. He said, I'm, I'm really interested in doing this uh, civic works project. I feel like it's going to improve you know, just me as a, a leader and, and you know, make me better. While I think I know a lot of companies are struggling with that generational shift, we've recently had that generational shift in our leadership. And because of that, I have a lot of very hungry managers who are out to prove themselves and out to make the change to make the company even better and put their kind of stamp on things. So it's really my own advice. And that is if you hire the best people, you do a great job, the clients will never stop coming back. Start three businesses, own multiple businesses take risks, and not just small risks, but just really think big. Because you only get out of life what you put into it. You work hard, you take a little bit of risk, and then you may be able to profit or take, enjoy some of that later in life. Never have a job. Never have something that you just have to do as mundane. Figure out what your passion is in your heart, and figure out how you can make the living you want.